That's a fact. Objection. Overruled. Uh, it's a feature of ring. I didn't add that. Yeah. And to your knowledge, does that timestamp appear to be accurate? Objection. Overruled. Speculative. Yes, that is accurate. For the record, the objection was overruled. This is a 20 second clip. I'm going to ask that we play it once with audio. Hey, can I, I'm calling some, I'm calling an Uber, and I'm supposed to be waiting for it over here, but I don't know when it's coming. Can you call it for me, please? I'm homeless. I'm can we pull that back up just to look at the timestamp one more time? Thank you. And just for those of us with not the greatest eyesight, would you mind reading that timestamp on the bottom right hand at the beginning of this exhibit? Objection leading. Overruled. Yeah, it says uh, November 21st, 2021, and the timestamp says 17.01, so 5.01 p.m. Okay. The voice we heard in that exhibit that we just played, whose voice is that? Objection leading. Jason. You may answer, sir. Uh, it's Mr. Brooks's voice. It's not yours. No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, I'd ask that Mr. Brooks please be instructed to remove his face mask momentarily. Sir, would you please remove your face mask and face the witness? Was that a question of? The state's asked, their, sir, please remove your face mask and face the witness. I'm, just, I'm confused. He made a statement about the voice. Uh, um, um, he, the question's been asked and answered. Please what, remove your mask. What was the question? Please remove your mask and face the witness. Yeah. Mr. Ryder, do you see the person depicted in exhibit number 75 in the courtroom today? Yes. Can you identify him for us by telling us where he's sitting and what he's wearing? Uh, he's sitting at the table right there wearing a black suit and a gray striped tie. How does the record reflect that the witness has identified Mr. Brooks? The record will reflect that the witness has identified uh, the defendant as the person uh, depicted in this video and the person who was on his porch on November 21. Objection. Go ahead. I don't consent to being called that name for the record. Go ahead, your next question, please. Thank you. What happened uh, in the moments after this video, the 20 seconds that were captured? Um, so he was on my porch for, I don't know exactly, a minute maybe, and he was telling me the interaction, or uh, he was telling me that he needed to use my phone to let his Uber know where to pick him up, and that he was homeless and cold, and um, he said he didn't have any weapons or anything on him, and he lifted his shirt real quick. And I was like, no, it's okay. You can use my phone. And um, I let him come inside and warm up. Uh, I just tend to believe people, and I'm from a small town, and we had people that need help all the time because we live right off a highway. So I'm used to, you know, doesn't didn't phase me too much. I mean, I was nervous for sure, but I was like, yeah, I can let use my phone. And he made it sound like the Uber was going to be here just any second, just needed to know where to pick him up. So I said, yeah, you can come and warm up while you wait for the Uber. And uh, I let him sit on the couch right by the window out front. I said, you can look out here waiting for your Uber. And he's on the phone most of the time after that with uh, his mom. And uh, he's saying you know, the address 553 Elizabeth Street is where it needs to come. And, you know, how far away is it? Kind of things like that. But okay. uh, I, guess, I guess, is that what you're wondering? Or? Let me back up. Yeah. You made a motion with your hands there uh, regarding what Mr. Brooks said about not being armed. Can you, you do that again? Just... For anybody who missed it, objection. I don't know. Not to see you being called that name. Go ahead and again for the record. Yeah, so I don't remember exactly what the motion was. I remember him saying he didn't have any weapons and he's um, not dangerous. And I think he lifted his shirt really quickly. But then I was like, ah, oh, don't worry. I'm not worried about that. And so I didn't. It's not like I patted him down or anything like that. But. Okay. Did you let him in the front door? The would be right next to your video doorbell. I actually. Oh. I can rephrase. rephrase. Go ahead, rephrase. What door did you let Mr. Brooks into your home? I, I let him in the back door. I don't consent to being called that name. Overruled. 
Go ahead, you may answer. Yeah, the back door. Okay. So he went around the side of the house to get to the back door? That's right. Okay. What happened when he got to the back door? Um, I don't remember exactly. I remember letting him in. Well, I remember, so I just got back hunting, so I asked him to go through the back door so I could make sure I didn't have any weapons laying around. And so I, after that was good, then I let him in the back door. Well, just to give me a second to make sure nothing was tempting or anything. But I let him in the back door, uh, and I think I gave him a coat right away, and then gave him my phone, and then uh, told him where to sit down. And when I told him to sit in the spot, he didn't move or anything. He stayed right there and listened to me. What else did you give him? I gave him a sandwich because he said he was homeless. Um, and I was, I said, oh, I can get you some slippers to put on your feet to warm your feet up. <laughs> I never did end up giving him slippers. Um, but yeah, so I gave him a jacket to wear while he was at my house. I gave, gave him a spot to sit and wait for the Uber and a sandwich. You testified earlier that he was on the phone with his mom. How do you know that? Objection. Speak with to you. Or roll. A few reasons. I heard him say mama a lot, and his mother called me, or, and I didn't answer, but his mom called and left a voicemail after the fact, uh, confirming it. Whose phone was he using while he was inside your house? Objection. Relevancy. Or roll. He's using my personal cell phone. <coughs> How would you describe his demeanor as he was inside your house? Objection. Leading. Overruled. You may answer. Um, I would say flustered, but also there were many times he was thanking me, and so he was grateful, and he even said, thank you so much for showing me love, man, and he was calling me bro, and so it wasn't, I guess that didn't make me feel like I was in any danger at the moment. Did Mr. Brooks leave your home at some point? Objection. I don't consider to be in court that night. Um, overruled. You may answer. Um... He, uh, I'm sorry, can you, I lost train of thought. Can you say it again? Did he leave your home at some point? Yeah, he uh, left when I asked him to. So he was in my house for eight or nine minutes, and then uh, I was standing on the front door looking outside because I was getting a little nervous because I thought the Uber would be there in a minute or two, not ten. And so after eight or nine minutes, I'm looking around outside, and I see a police car drive by, and then I see another one coming down the street. And so I tell him, I say, hey, uh, I, we don't get a lot of police traffic on this street, and I'm getting nervous, and this is just too weird of a situation. You're fine to wait for your Uber, but you need to do it outside of my house. And he was a little bit like, oh, no, it's okay, don't worry about it, don't worry. And I said, no, you need to leave. And he, then he listened and got up, and uh, I've got video footage of that, of me escorting him outside of my house. He's still on the phone, and he's still got my jacket on, but I just said, you need to leave. Um, do, do you want me to say what I mean? You want me to keep going, or I just want you to answer my questions. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's pause there, though. Sure. And show for the witness only, please. Uh, exhibit number seventy-seven. We'll just uh, we'll play a few seconds of this without any audio, and actually, to save time, authenticating your honor, I think we'll do this. With <coughs> the remaining three videos okay. we have. Go ahead. So this so, is uh, seventy. 77, yep. 77, all right, thank you. Play a few seconds, please, without, yeah, yep, there we go. Okay, we played four seconds from Exhibit 77. Do you recognize that clip? I do. And what is that? Uh, it's Mr. Brooks walking out first with a jacket on and me in a long sleeve shirt, a gray shirt, walking out behind him. Can we show for the witness only, please, Exhibit 78? Go ahead. We'll play the first couple of seconds of this one, too. Okay. We played the first eight seconds of that. Did you recognize that clip? Yes. What does that show? That shows Mr. Brooks after I had him leave and get my phone and jacket. He was outside, and then him asking to come back inside because he said he left his ID inside my house. And that was on the audio, um, but it sounded like he had the audio off for that. And we'll show you 79 now without any audio as well, just for the witness. Okay. And we played eight seconds of exhibit 79. Do you recognize that video? Yep. What does it show? Uh, it shows an officer on my porch after 
the suspect was put into cuffs asking if I knew who the suspect was. Our exhibits 77, 78, and 79 accurate depictions of your porch that night? Objection. Yes. Overruled. His answer may stand. I move exhibits 77, 78, and 79 in the evidence and ask to publish all three, please. Objection. <laughs> The objection is noted as to all three. It is overruled. Exhibits 77, 78, and 79 are received permission to publish. All three are granted. Okay, 77 is up now for everybody. It's a 21-second clip. We're going to play it once with audio, please. Before you do that, can we just confirm it's in the jury box? Not yet. Okay. Let me know. while we're waiting, we can make use of this time. Mr. Ryder, could you read the time and date stamp for us on the bottom right-hand corner? Objection, rather be seen. Overall, go ahead. Yeah, it's November 21st, 2021, uh, 1710, so 5, 10 p.m. Okay, we've got it up for the jurors. Let's play this once with audio. Do you see yourself in that video? Yes. What are you wearing in the video? A gray shirt. Oh. A gray shirt. Did you hear the wind in that video? Yes. What do you recall being said in that portion of the video? Jesse Lee. Overruled. I'm walking Mr. Brooks outside of my house and my neighbor Greg says, are you guys looking for that guy? And I had no idea of anything at this point, and so I say, I don't know, this might be him. Um, you can hear that in the audio, I don't know if anybody was able to distinguish that, but that's what was said. And then um, Mr. Brooks says, no, 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 and then I say, can I have my phone, please? And then after that I say, can I have my jacket, please? Did he provide those items to you? He did. Okay. Can we put up uh, for the jury, please, Exhibit 78? <coughs> This is a 20 second clip. We will play it once uh, with audio, please. Watch it be! Why be? Mr. Ryder, what happened during that video clip? Objection leading. Mr. Brooks, or I should say the suspect, came to my door, asked to come back inside to look for his ID. I said, no, I'll look for it. You stay out there. Um, and I was looking underneath the couch and everywhere that he sat for his ID when I hear the, the police officers saying, put your hands up. And Did you ever find the, uh, that person's ID? No. Did that person leave anything else in the side of your house? No. Flip-flops? No. Sweatshirt? No. Objection leading. Uh, sustained as to the form of the question. Please rephrase that last question. What, if anything else, did that suspect leave in your house? I don't. Objection leading. Overruled. He may answer. I didn't find anything left in my house. Okay. Can we please uh, show for... The jury <coughs> exhibit 79. <coughs> this is a 19 second clip. We will play it once, once with audio. <coughs> Hey, do you know this guy? Absolutely. 
We paused at 18 seconds. That's the police officer you were talking about? Yeah. Okay. Can you, just for the record, read for us the time and date stamp on the bottom right-hand corner here at the 18-second mark of exhibit number 79? Yeah, it's November 21st, 2021, and the time is 17, 12, 59 seconds, so 5, 12 p.m. The video is a little bit blurry. Do you know where uh, Mr. Brooks is? At this point, objection leading, and I do not consent to being caught in it. Overruled, objections noted. Uh, you may answer the question. Yeah, the suspect is on the east side of my walkway, on the northeast side of my house, in my yard. Um, if you see where those two police officer heads are, um, Mr. or the suspect is on the grass right there. That's all I have for this witness. Thank you. All right. Any cross? Yes. One, just one second. Okay. Will you be needing any of those videos put back up at any time? Uh, not that I can think of at the moment. Thank you.